Live tonight. Rachel? Yeah, Pat and Jeff, the threat of a shooting really had an impact here at Pete Knight High School today. Sheriff's authorities say even though there was increased security this morning, around 1,900 students did not come to school today after hearing about the threat. A student says this cell phone video taken Thursday shows the fight that eventually led to the threat of a planned shooting at Pete Knight High School in Palmdale. Investigators at the Palmdale Sheriff's Station say this all started when a male student got involved in a fight on campus on Thursday. He was apparently being jumped, and the fight got bigger, turning into a brawl. We're told that boy went home and expressed his anger and frustrations on social media. Investigators say at that point, another student on the threat chimed in and made threats to shoot some of the people who were involved in the fight. He also posted a picture of a teen holding a firearm and another picture of a stack of bullets. Investigators were soon able to identify who made the threats, a 15-year-old male student. They did an interview with a male juvenile who admitted to posting the pictures of the teenager holding a firearm and the bullets. He also admitted to writing threatening quotes and posting additional threats online. The teen's home was searched and we're told no firearms were found, but the 15-year-old was arrested early Friday morning for making criminal threats. There were a lot of anxious students and parents on campus today. That's kind of scary about like, because I go to school. I don't want someone walking up in here with a gun or anything and try and shoot it up. I got a couple of phone calls from the school. Um, I was worried. Of course, I was scared. Um, it's just this type of thing right here. It's just, it's just getting out of hand. LA County Sheriff's authorities tell me they've investigated 36 school related threats just since the shooting last week at Saugus High School. Although most of these threats were found to be not credible, they want to send a message to teens that they are taking these things very seriously. Reporting live tonight in Palmdale, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.